G'day. Today we're going to install a Solarmax shade structure. All the kits arrived, it's all pre-cut ready to go. We have a concrete slab which is the right size and what we're going to do is build the structure bit by bit and we'd like you to follow along with the process. So, the first job is to do the mark out. We've been given the measurements of where to put the posts, so let's get started. The first step is to do the mark out. First we mark out the four corner points. Then we mark the diagonals. It's important that both diagonals are exactly the same. Once that's done, we do a simple 3-4-5 calculation to ensure the structure is perfectly square. Refer to the instruction sheet if you're not sure how to do this. The final thing we do is flick a chalk line. This gives us the measurements or the marks on the ground to work to. Now position the foot plates in the corners where we've marked the lines. Drill through each of the four holes of the foot plate to ensure it's perfectly in position. Continue drilling around each of the four corners, drilling and cleaning each of the holes. Once this is done, you're ready to bolt the foot plates down. In this example, we're using Hilti HSAF mechanical anchors. You'll note that we're 200 millimeters in from the edge of the slab to prevent any cracking. Tap the bolts in and tighten with a socket set. Once the four foot plates have been securely bolted down, you're now ready to begin standing the structure. Fit the four posts over the spigots. Then position the knuckles on top of the posts. Once that's done, two men are required to lift the ridge beams into position. Work carefully and ensure that the ridge beams are fully pushed into the knuckles. Once they are in position, they are self-supporting. Next it's time to fit the Y piece. Again, ensure the Y piece is fully pushed into position. Repeat the process on the other side. Fit the Y piece and the final step is to fit the ridge beam. There are a number of ways to do this. In this instance we are simply lifting the frame up fitting the ridge beam and lowering the frame back down. The frame then becomes fully self-supporting. The frame is now done and ready for drilling. Every joint requires a nut and bolt. Work your way around drilling with a small pilot hole first and then reaming the holes out and then putting the bolt in. Use a spring washer and tighten the nuts and bolts with a socket.
Once the structure has been bolted together, we're ready for the final step of fitting the canopy. Before we do this, we ensure the area is perfectly clean. There can be no sharp objects or pieces of metal laying around, which could damage the canopy. Carry the canopy on site, carefully roll it out, ensuring the hem is on the underside. Begin dragging the canopy over the frame. It's very important that as you drag the canopy over the frame, it doesn't get snagged on one of the bolts or joints. Be very careful as you're doing this. Once the canopy is loosely in position, get two of the eye bolts and fit the two furthest away corners. These should be very easy to fit as there's no tension yet on the canopy. We're now ready for the third corner. The third corner will take a little more tension to get it up to the eye bolt. We use a simple lacing system. Lacing through the eye bolt, through the corner of the canopy, and back a few times, which gives you some mechanical advantage to pull the canopy ring close to the eye bolt. Once it's close, simply fit the bow shackle. When the shackle's been fitted, remove the lacing. The final corner is going to be the tightest. You'll need a lacing positioned as before, but what we also need to do is loosen the wire rope grips to let the internal cable loose. First we pull up the canopy so it's just taut and then we loosen the wire rope grips. This enables us to pull the fabric and stretch the fabric without having to put too much tension on the wire rope. We're now ready to stretch the fabric to the final corner. You should expect this to be quite tight. Pull it up using the lacing tie the lacing off and again fit the shackle. Once the shackle is tight, tighten up the wire rope grips. This will ensure that when the canopy is fully tightened, the tension is on the wire rope and not the fabric. Remove the lacing, tighten the shackle and make sure all four shackles are tightened. Apply some lubricant to the thread and then begin tensioning up the canopy. You'll note that we always use the brass nut first. This will prevent seizing. The stainless steel nut is the lock nut at the end. Work your way around the canopy putting some lubricant on each of the threads and then tightening them up a little bit as you go. Work your way around tightening up each of the four corners. Again the brass nut first and then screwing up the lock nut. Once the canopy is taut you're ready to complete the job. Tighten the lock nuts, cut off the long tails, and the job is done. So, there you have it. A Solomax shade structure, put together by two men in about three hours. This should sit here now for many years to come and do its job perfectly. Mm -hmm.